no impressions in your Google Ads account. This is a very common problem inside Google Ads. And in today's video, I'm going to give you seven proven ways to increase impressions inside your account so you can start getting leads now. Now, the first thing we have to understand about impressions is what they are. And then we're going to get into actually how we're going to solve limited or no impressions inside your Google Ads account. Every time your ad is shown, Google Ads counts us as an impression. So we need to increase the amount of times our ad is being shown inside Google Ads and through all of its platforms. Now, to start off, the first way to increase the amount of impressions we're getting inside Google Ads is to simply increase the budget or increase the max bid limit or target CPA, depending on what bid strategy you're using budget and bid limit and target CPA, they really determine how competitive we are inside the auction. And if we don't have a high enough spending limit, either on our keywords or overall budget, our ads are not going to be shown. So that's very important to do. And these two things are very easy to change. All we have to do is come over here to our Google ads account. As you can see, our budget is $50 a day. We can simply increase this by clicking on the little pencil icon here. Let's increase it to $75 a day and then just hit save. And now we have upped our budget. If we are using maximize clicks bid strategy or target CPA bid strategy, all we have to do is either hit more details or settings for sake of simplicity. I'm just going to hit settings here. Both lead to the exact same thing. And now all we have to do is come here to bidding. And as you can see, our bid strategy is maximize clicks. I normally recommend starting an account off in maximize clicks and then switching over to target CPA. So you can use Google's AI and optimize for your Google ads account. However, if we're in maximize clicks, all we have to do to up the maximum cost per click bid limit is simply edit the number here. So let's increase the $15 per click. And this will show our ads up to a $15 bid limit, which depending on what industry you're in may be good, may be bad. You have to go into your keyword planner and determine this. I would really suggest averaging out all those keywords inside your keyword planner and then taking a overestimation, I would say a couple dollars on top of that average and setting that as your maximum cost per click bid limit. If we were doing this for target CPA, by the way, all you have to do is hit save there. If we're doing this for target CPA, all we have to do is again, come down here to bidding. We're going to change our bid strategy to target CPA for the sake of this example. We're going to hit set target cost per action. If this was set to $20, we can simply increase this to $50, hit save. And now we have upped our target CPA, which is great because now our ads are going to be shown much more frequently because we're telling Google, hey, we want to spend more. We're willing to spend more, show our ads more often because we have more budget to spend and we're willing to pay more per customer and more per click. So that's important to note. Now, the second thing we can do inside Google ads to increase our impressions is simply switch the match type of our keywords. There are three match types inside Google ads, broad match, phrase match, and exact match. I normally like to start campaigns off in exact match as of late, because I think phrase match and broad match are really too lenient for a lot of service-based companies. And if you're new to Google ads, I think you're going to waste a lot of money if you just start off with broad match or phrase match, just because you're going to have to be going into the search term report very frequently. And a lot of people don't have that time. So I like to start off with exact match. However, if you have exact match and you're not getting impressions, you could consider switching to phrase match and broad match. And this will help with impressions and showing your ad more frequently because phrase match and broad match are a lot more lenient than exact match. And if you want the most lenient, broad match is by far the most lenient. It's going to show your ad to whatever search term is relevant to that keyword. So say one of our keywords is HVAC company. You can show for HVAC company DIY, HVAC company uh, freelancer, like literally anything you can pop up for with broad match. It really encompasses just about everything. It can even go after your competitors. There's there's a lot of stuff it can go after. But this is one way to increase the amount of impressions you're getting just because it's going to show your ad in as many places as possible. Now, I don't absolutely love this strategy, but it is a strategy that you can implement that does work to get more impressions. Now, how do we actually go about switching our match type? And that's pretty easy. All we have to do is click on keywords for one of our campaigns. So again, pool installation campaign here. And as you can see in this demo account, our match types are set to exact match and phrase match. All we have to do is come down here to the match type, click on it, and then we can go over and switch it to either phrase match or broad match. For this example, I'll just switch it to broad match. And now this is really going to show for anything related to fiberglass swimming pools. And your ad is going to be viable to be shown a lot more inside Google ads. Now, the third thing we can do inside Google ads to up the amount of impressions we're going to be getting is to add more keywords. And a keyword is the actual search term we want to go after. It doesn't necessarily mean that's the actual keyword we're going to pop up for. There could be some slight changes depending on the actual match type you use. But those are the keywords we want our ads to actually pop up for. 
for inside Google Ads. And so if we're going after HVAC company near me, we're going to add keywords like HVAC company near me, HVAC services near me, stuff like that, very similar and shows high buying intent inside of our Google Ads account. Now, the more keywords we add, the more impressions we're going to be able to get and show for. It doesn't mean we will necessarily get there because there's other factors like the auction house, how much other people are bidding. However, if we add more keywords, chances are we're going to be able to get more impressions, which is good. Now, how do we actually go about adding keywords to our Google Ads account? And that's pretty simple. All we have to do is come over here to Google Ads, click on one of our ad groups. So for this one, I clicked on pool installation. We're going to come over here to search keywords, and then we're going to hit the big blue plus icon. And then this is going to pop up and we're going to type in a keyword we want to go after. So I'll do pool installation. I can't spell today near me. And if you want to add it as broad match, phrase match, exact match, you can. Exact match is brackets around it, phrase match is parentheses, and broad match is you just leave it like it is. And if you need help finding more keywords, you can come over here to the tools and settings button, come over here to the keyword planner, and then go from there. You should be able to type in a high buying intent keyword. So like, let's say we're doing fencing, fencing services near me, it should give you a whole list of keywords people are actually typing in. So you can target that and allow your account to have more keywords to actually target so your ads can show for more keywords so you get more impressions. Now, before we get on to the next fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, solution for increasing the amount of impressions inside your Google Ads account. If you're looking to optimize your campaign, we have a free optimization checklist inside Google Ads that I really think will help, especially if you're limited on search impressions and you really want to see your account grow and be optimized. This will also help you in conjunction with these solutions that I'm showing you right now. And what the Google Ads optimization checklist looks like is this, and it just runs you through all the things you got to do on a weekly and monthly basis. It covers literally everything you need to do inside your account to optimize it. I think it's super wonderful and I think everyone should have this for their Google Ads account. It will really help your account grow and stay ahead of your competition. So if you want this, the link is down below. Check it out. Now it's time for our fourth solution to low impressions, and that is to actually opt into the Google Search Partner Network. Now, I don't absolutely love the Google Search Partner Network because I think the quality of traffic is a little lower just because Google doesn't monitor as much and it's not its organic platform. And there's generally a little bit more click fraud on it. But that being said, you can still get amazing results with it depending on your situation. So Google Search partner network to break it down simply is allowing you to opt in and show your ad to all the other platforms Google has partnered with. So this is a lot of different sites. Google doesn't give us a complete list of this, but there's lots of them. There's Amazon, there's uh, New York Times. There's, there's just so many different partners that Google has actually partnered with. And your ad is going to be able to show up in a lot more places. And this will help increase the amount of times our ad is able to show up and increase the amount of impressions we're going to get. Now, in order to change this, we have to click on our campaign here. So we're going to click on pool installation. We're going going to click on settings down here. And then we're going to click on networks. As you can see, I've already opted into the search network. But if this was unchecked, it'll look like this. All you have to do is just check this off, hit save, and you have now successfully opted into the search partner network and your ads will show on all of Google search partners, which is really nice if you're really struggling with impressions. Now, the fifth thing you can do is adjust the time and days your ads are actually running. A lot of people will set this for very limited hours. They either run it 24 seven or they set it very limited. If you're running only, let's say Monday to Wednesday, you might consider running Monday to Friday or including weekends. This will allow your ads to show more often because you're going to be able to actually go across the entire week and more hours allows you to again show more times because you're going to be able to target more people, which is great for increasing your impressions. And this is done by actually coming down here and clicking on ad schedule. And as you can see, we're running Mondays to Fridays 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. And if we wanted to increase the amount of impressions we're getting, we can simply include Saturday and Sunday, or we could adjust the hours as well. So what I'm going to do is click on the little blue icon here, the little pencil icon. I'm going to hit add. I'm going to hit Saturday and Sundays, and then I will adjust this to 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. As you can see, that was our normal schedule to begin with. So I'll just include that. Uh, also, if you're going to be doing this and increasing your ad schedule, please be able to actually respond to these leads. I would much rather get less leads, but be able to respond to them quickly because the closing rate is a lot higher, meaning you're going to make a lot more money than letting these leads sit and making those people go somewhere else because they're just impatient and they want their problem dealt with now. So please make sure you can actually respond to these people quickly and you're not just making them wait for you know days on end. All we have to do now is hit save. And we have successfully updated our ad schedule to include Saturdays and Sundays. Also, you can increase the hours if you'd like. It's really up to you.
Now, the sixth thing we can do inside Google ads is increase the amount of locations we're showing our ads. So if we're only showing our ads in one city, there might just not be enough people in that location to really sustainably get leads and clicks and impressions. So we need to increase the actual area our ads are showing for. And again, very simple to do. All we have to do is come back here to our Google ads account hit locations. As you can see here, it's at the bottom. It might be in show more. So don't be scared if it's gone. Uh, just hit locations. And as you can see, we have a whole bunch of locations targeted. We can zoom in here and just show you guys We're targeting Mississauga, Toronto, Hamilton. Say we want to include, and by the way, this is in Canada. If you're unfamiliar with all of these locations, let's say we want to target Brampton. So all we have to do is click on the little blue icon there and we will type in Brampton. You can also just increase the actual radius. So if you just wanted a 50 mile radius, you can also click radius here. Uh, it's up to you how you actually want to target it. Some companies, they just go in a 50 mile radius. Some companies, they just target areas. It's very unique to your situation. All we have to do is again, type in Brampton here, hit target and now our ads will successfully show to all the people in Brampton who are typing in our search terms. All we have to do is hit save and we are good to go. Now our final way to increase the amount of impressions is increasing the amount of ads you have in the account. Now I know this may seem counterintuitive like why do the amount of ads actually matter and I see this a lot in accounts that only have one ad. And for whatever reason, Google's AI has deemed that ad not very good or it just doesn't like it and refuses it to show it very often. And I see this so often where people will have this large campaign and they'll have one ad and Google, for whatever reason, again, just doesn't like the ad. It refuses to just show it and they have like 10 impressions. And if they would have just added one or two more ads, their account and their ads would have been shown. But for whatever reason, they chose not to and they just did not add their ads. And one thing that's important to note is Google operates on a click through rate for its ads. And that's really how it judges how effective your ads are. If it shows your ad a whole bunch, it has no clicks on it. It then deems that ad irrelevant because people are searching, they're seeing your ad, they're not clicking on it. And then Google will just refuse to show that ad because it's like, hey, no one's clicking on it. And that makes sense because Google doesn't want to show bad advertising. So we need a high click through rate. And the best way to get a high click through rate is to A-B test our ads and to have more than one ad to actually run. So please in your account, add more than one ad. And the actual way we go about adding ads is coming up here to ads and assets. But I would click on a campaign first. Uh, let's do pool landscaping here. Actually pool installation is fine. And then we click on ads and assets. And then as you can see here, we have three ads. We have a couple pause to make this process a lot quicker. And if you already have one built out, what I recommend doing is checking this off, hitting edit, copying this, pasting it into your account and then allowing Google to actually copy out this ad. That way you don't actually have to recreate it every single time and you can just go in and change a few headlines. It's a lot easier and allows you to make these ads a lot quicker than if you had to manually go in and hit the big blue plus icon every single time and start from scratch. So that's what I would recommend doing for increasing the amount of impressions you're getting. Again, this seems counterintuitive, but I see this a lot inside of accounts where they just don't have enough ads and Google is just refusing to run them uh, because they have a low click through rate or for whatever whatever reason Google just doesn't feel like it. Now, those were seven ways to increase the amount of impressions you're getting. If you do all of these things, you will be getting impressions unless you have zero search volume or there's something seriously wrong with your account. Uh, you should be getting a lot of impressions if you do all these things. Now, again, if you want to optimize your account, check out our optimization checklist. It, the link is down below. It's absolutely awesome. I recommend everyone get it. It just allows you to remember everything, allow you to go in month after month, optimize your campaign and see long-term success. So again, a link for that is down below if you're interested in getting it. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. How do you actually go about increasing impressions? I'd love to hear from you. Also check out our Discord server, which is based on Google ads. It's got a whole bunch of awesome people in it that we talk about Google ads, how we go about changing our accounts. It's absolutely wonderful. I love everyone in that community. They're amazing. The link for that is also down below. So again, if you want to check it out, the link is there. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful day and take care. I wish you well.